Hello everyone, you're welcome to this channel once again. Today we have another question on a jet aircraft and how to calculate the payload. and the uh, fuel required for the flight. Once again, we have uh, another question on how to calculate the jet propel aircraft and how to calculate how much fuel required for the flight is undergoing. Now let's read through the question above. Consider a classical configure small jet airplane with the following parameters. The S, which is the size of the wing, 32 meters square. The span of the wing, 16 meter. The TSFC, that is the fuel consumption, 0.65 per hour. The maximum fuel, 2,000 kilogram. The maximum payload, 800 kilogram. The empty weight, 3,700 kilogram. The maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft, 6,300 kilogram. The CDO, 0.02. The Oxford efficiency factor, 0.85. The distance between two airports, A and B, is 2,300 kilometers. Now, calculate the payload that can be taken from A to B by the flight at sea level, and how much fare is required for the flight. Now, today, we have a small Jet aircraft. With the following parameters: the wing size, S, thirty-two meter square. The span of the wing, sixteen meter. The TSFC, zero point. Six five per hour. The maximum fuel two thousand kilogram. The maximum payload. Eight hundred kilogram. The mass of the empty three thousand seven hundred, and the maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft six thousand three hundred kilogram. The CDO. 0.02 the Oxford efficiency factor 0.85 distance between the airport A and B that is the range A to B 2300 kilometer Don't let us forget we can calculate the aspect ratio from here. That becomes the square over s, which is 16 
square over 32. That gives us 8. So our aspect ratio becomes 8. And don't let us forget we can calculate our C L. Which is pi over 3 multiplied by E A R C D O. That becomes the root of pi over 3 multiplied by 0 0.85 times the aspect ratio which is 8 times CDO 0 0.02 our CL coefficient of Lee becomes 0 0.3 374 Also we can calculate our CD to be 4 over 3 CDO that becomes 4 to 3 multiplied by 0 0.02 that gives us 0 0.3 267 now by using bracket range equation which equals 1 over T S F C to the root of H G over rho S multiplied by C L over C D to the max multiply by the root of initial max minus root of final mass of the aircraft. Don't let us forget that initial mass will become the maximum takeoff weight. Why? final mass of the aircraft after flight becomes the empty weight plus the mass of the payload so by using these two equation that we know that the initial mass m o equals maximum takeoff weight then the final mass high equals the empty weight plus the payload. We can deduce that our Breguet equation becomes R, which equals one over T S F C. to bracket A G over rho S C L C D now don't let us forget this will be the constant K okay. So our constant K becomes three thousand six hundred over zero point six five multiplied by eight times ten 
Oh wow. Zero point four one. Thanks. Thirty two. Multiply by our C here, which is zero point three. Seven seven four over what are C D zero point zero two six seven. So therefore our K becomes one point eight two times ten raised to power five. That's our constant. And don't let us forget we we agree that our initial mass becomes the maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft. And our final mass equals the empty weight plus the payload delivered. So therefore, our break rate range becomes K factor the maximum max minus the root of MMT plus M payload. So therefore our ring becomes 1.82 times 10 to the power 5 into bracket. Maximum take weight minus root of ME plus MP. If we pull out the mass of payload, that becomes mass of mass maximum take weight. Minus R over K square minus mass of empty. So maximum take up the mass of payload becomes six thousand three hundred minus. Two thousand two hundred Over K, our K is 1.82 to 10 to the power 5 all square minus the mass of empty, which is 3,700. The mass of the payload becomes 75 to the point. Five eight kilogram.
So in order for us to find the mass of the fuel, the mass of the fuel equals the maximum takeoff weight minus the mass of empty minus the mass of payload. So the mass of fuel consumed because the maximum takeoff weight is this to do. And the mass of empty, 50,700. And the mass of payload, 753.58. So the mass of fuel equals 1,008 for seven kilogram. So the mass of payload equals seven five three point five eight kilogram and the mass of fuel used to deliver becomes one thousand eight four seven kilogram calculated. Thank you for staying tuned.